up, we're going to have the uh, invocation and the pledge, and I'm going to ask Jeremiah Miller to do that. So will you please stand and remove your hats? I'm probably going to talk a little louder than you and me. Please join me as we pray. Father God, we come before you tonight. We thank you not only for each and every athlete that's here, but Father, we thank you for the leadership from the top down from them, Father. We thank you for their parents who have sacrificed many, many things that kids don't even realize to make it possible for them to be here tonight. We thank you for their teachers. We thank you for their coaches, Father God, and we ask that you give them wisdom and that you help them point each and every one of these kids in the right direction, Father God. But we also ask that you inspire them, Father, to perform to the top of their potential in each and everything that they do. Bless them as they carry on. Bless them as they start their college careers and bless them as they finish their high school careers. We ask that you always keep them focused on what is truly important. Good sportsmanship. Winning is there, Father God, but we also ask that you let them be examples of what it means to be a true athlete and a true person. In your name we pray. Amen. Please join me in these blessings. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of recognize the other officers. We have Aaron Purdy right here in front. You want to stand up so everybody can see you. Thank you. Our secretary is Crystal Landis. She's going to be back here with the letter G's. If you've uh, lettered for the first time, you need to see her. Our treasurer is Jana Wallace, and she was taking tickets out in the foyer. Our new treasurer will be Marilyn Arledge, and she was also outside taking tickets. I have a list of thank you notes here. Uh, Jamie Kaufman and her Honey's crew, we want to thank you for the delicious meal that you provided tonight. And Coach P, who has willingly uh, agreed to uh, MC our event tonight. A little bit about the Booster Club, and that is uh, we are the funding support for the all the sports at the Guyman High School. We, in our budget, budget $500 per sport. Our budget ranges from $15,000 to $20,000 a year. We provide a lot of motel rooms, the all-state jackets, and this awards banquet for the student athletes. Our fundraisers include the uh, Tiger Fun Fest, which is the first event of the year. We have sports schedule posters that are put up in different businesses that has a team picture and a schedule of different sports on them. We have a silent auction at a basketball game. We provide yard signs for students that can be personalized for their parents to put in for their yards. And then we sell merchandise at football games and basketball games. Our meetings are the first Monday of each month at 7 o'clock at the high school. And our next scheduled meeting will be in July, which is July the 9th. We're going to skip the month of June for a meeting. The other people I'd like to thank you is Coach Brown, our athletic director. Scott Dahl, who drives the buses and all of his crew. Our school board members, administrators, teachers, and parents. Game officials, referees, scorekeepers, announcers, ticket takers, concession stand operators. I'd also like to thank you to our Gaiman Daily Herald sports editor, Sean Yorks. We have tonight Emmanuel with PTCI, who PTCI films a lot of the games, especially football games, and they're tonight filming our banquet. KKBS commentates their football games on the radio. Rocky Ramon does that. I'd like to thank the Fair Board for letting us use the Activity Center. So Rocky does a lot setting up the tables for us. This year I'd like to a special thank you to Hitches, who provided funds for the cross-country sign that is located out on the highway across from the Super 8 Motel that says that we are state champions. Our procedure tonight, we're going to do individual sports. At the end of the individual sports, we're going to do special awards, so please stay till the end. 
If you are a first time letter, you'll get a letter G for your letter jacket, so please see Crystal about that. For a photo opportunity, we have a backdrop in the back of the room if you want to take pictures of your athlete with their awards. And uh, there's also, if you'll notice behind us, this is the new run through sign for football. And we have window stickers that have the same decal logo on it and they're for sale out in the lobby. So without further ado, I'm gonna turn it over to Coach P for our rest of our banquet. All right guys, first up is football with head coach Kyle Davis. get going on this because we've got a lot more sports to go so I know all the other coaches are as excited to get up here as I am. I just really want to introduce my 2017 football team and this is all them right back here. Please give them a round of applause. I really want to thank the administration for everything that they did especially uh, giving me the chance to reach the top rung of a very tall ladder. Uh, I also want to thank, of course, my wife and my children for all the support they gave me. It was an incredible year to have them by my side. I'd like to thank my assistant coaches for always being there. Uh, the season was tough, the season was long, but I could always count on them to be by my side. Uh, I have a really strong core of returning football players which every day these past two weeks in the spring ball, I keep telling them, this is a real good core that's coming back. We got a great freshman class that's coming in, so I'm really excited for things to come here. Uh, I'd like to give out some awards. The first one uh, is the Most Valuable Lineman Award. You got a coach. And it goes to a player that moved over from the defensive side to the offensive side, back to the defensive side, back to the offensive side. Uh, it was a pleasure to coach him for as long as I did. And every day uh, when he was there, I knew something was going to happen, <laughs> either good or bad, but it was going to happen. And it was really good to have him out there. He created an atmosphere that was nothing but team. But again, I I'm really proud to say his name, Victor Segala. <laughs> Our most valuable back goes to a player that went both ways. And uh, every time you needed something from him, he was always there, always one of the first ones to.
to be at practice, always the one that you could always count on. And I really enjoyed being around him. He's another player that I've known for a long time. I've coached nine years here at a uh, wonderful world of Guyman and being able to have him for as many years as I did. And again, this is another guy that I really am proud to announce his name, and that's Bryce Bagley. Our MVP uh, goes to a player that worked uh, every day that we weren't at practice. He was always there. He was always in the weight room. Uh, you could always count on him being one of the first people to come up to you and tell you, hey, things are going to be all right. Things are going to work out. And he got injured early in the season, but nothing held him back. He came back and retook his starting role. And I'll tell you, uh, he just got a scholarship, and I'm just really proud of him. Jacob Santos. Then I sat down with my coaches and I said we needed to come up with an award for a person that is, is very special, always there, uh, never, uh, never knuckles under, if that's the proper way to say, but a person you can count on. He was one of the first ones to jump up when we needed somebody to go to JV. Uh, if he got hurt or injured, he would always push his way through it. And uh, it's just a real pleasure for me uh, to announce his name, and that's Tyler Fields. And again, I just want to thank everybody for coming to this, especially the parents and the administration and all. And always remember, it's a great day to be a Tiger. welcome you all to this evening. Um, this has been an exciting year. Um, I'd like to say that I think we have the best cheerleaders around, but I might be a little impartial, but I think so. If you ask the parents, they'd probably agree. Um, we have accomplished great things this year, and I'm very proud to be their coach. We attended the UCA cheer camp this past summer. We won a top team award a spirit stick, superior ribbons, and we won the game day competition. We also had three cheerleaders make the UCA All-American, Peyton Bowers, Alex Curtis, and Maggie Landis. Congratulations. Um, this year, the Guyman cheerleaders also competed in the first OSSAA game day cheerleading competition. Each squad performs a series of three routines, a sideline chant, a band dance, and your fight song. Our main goal was to make it to the final round. Only the top six teams make it to the final out of 19 this year. Guyman not only made it to the finals, but we placed third in class 5A. <laughs> which is pretty amazing because at competition we had 13 cheerleaders and we were the smallest 5A squad, 
Most squads have 20 to 24. So I'm pretty proud of these, these cheerleaders. Um, our squad is full of amazing athletes and everyone is receiving a game day finalist patch for their letter jacket this year. Um, with that, I also have gifts for my seniors this year. Um, I'm recognizing five seniors. I had three captains, Peyton, Alex, and Avery. And then my other two, I also like to thank Lexi and Shayla. Um, we had a great year. My seniors make my job easier and a lot more fun. And I am truly gonna miss this group of girls this year, this next year. So Maggie is gonna hand out my um, senior gifts for me. This is when sometimes you wish you had an assistant coach. So I have just a little something extra for my seniors this year. They also got to take home their um, banners from basketball season that were hanging in the gym. Yeah. Oh, Shayla Eastland, Peyton Bowers, Alex Curtis, Avery Curtis and Alexis Bishop. Thank you guys. I also want to recognize two other people. I don't know if they made it tonight, but we had two people that were our mascot this year. Um, Yesenia Aries and Gustavo Ruiz. Did you guys make it by chance? Well, that's okay. Well, I just, I think they did a great job, and if you see them out, if you know them, just tell them good job, and I hope that they try out next year for Mascot. I have three awards to give tonight. My first award is for the most spirited cheerleader. This award is voted by the entire squad. This cheerleader not only helps spread school spirit, but is a leader for our squad. She is strong, and she is one of the most determined people that I know. The 2018 Most Spirited Cheerleader is Ms. Peyton Bowers. My next award goes to a cheerleader that has always been one of my go-to girls for help and ideas. She is always willing to put in the extra time for whatever I ask her to do. She is a true definition of excellent, excellence. My 2018 Most Valuable Cheerleader is Miss Alex Curtis. My last award goes to a fearless leader, a cheerleader who's never willing to give up. This girl is always willing to try new things while we're stunning, and she is a true winner and a leader. My 2018 Tiger Cheerleader of the Year is Miss Avery Curtis. of seniors they came in when um, I very first started a few years ago so um, I just want to thank to all of my cheer parents um, they always go above and beyond to help me and our squad and everything we need to do to support the other teams throughout the, the school year thank you Okay, up next on the stage is the dance team with head coach Jackie L. Thank you. 
Leah Marquez, Cruza Fox, Isabella Ramos, DC Tappington, and Priscilla Diaz. Good evening, my name is Jessica Downing. I'm the other coach for dance team. Um, I wanna give out a few thank yous. I wanna go ahead and thank the Booster Club for inviting us and recognizing the dance team. I also want to thank uh, Mr. Williams, Mrs. Brooks, and Coach Brown for helping um, us and supporting us throughout the year. I can take a few breaths. Our first award is Rookie of the Year, and um, this goes to Priscilla Villa. Our next award is our Best uh, Palm Kick Line Dancer Award, and this goes to Macy Howe. Our Best Jazz Dancer Award goes to Katie Kymig. Our best jazz dancer goes to April Hadegi. <laughs> Our best hip hop dancer award goes to uh, Sophia Marquez. Our best technique award goes to Taya Gooding. Our most improved dancer award goes to Isabel Malco. Our 100% award goes to Tura Pa. We actually have two Most Valuable Dancer Awards. Uh, one of them goes to Maribel Esquivel. And our other one to Alondra Serta. Our next award is our Tiger Dance Award. This award is voted on by the members of the dance team. And this year's Tiger Dance Award goes to Alondra Serta. Um, we have two uh, seniors this year, and they are both four years. We have five seniors. We have five seniors. <laughs> Sorry. And we have two of them that are four year seniors. Um, and that is Maribel Esquivel and Alondra Serta. That's all I have. Thank you. As they're leaving, I'm sorry, I forgot one thing. Uh, last July, we uh, attended OU's NDA dance camp. And Alondra Serta and Priscilla Villa were named All-American. All right, next up on the stage is softball head coach Randy Heath. Following the stage, the JV softball team, Maggie Ballou, Ashley Tower, Mason Hawthorne, Kendall Brown, Lorena Chavez, Edwin Hall in the grid, Kaylee Rhodes, Daisy Chavez, Chloe Browning, Alex Alex Sophia, Aubrey Carrasco, Elizabeth Stump, and April Bernal. Also following her to the stage is the varsity softball team, Alex Curtis, Maggie Landis, Avery Curtis, Alexis Bishop, Candy Escobedo, Taylor Eastman, Elizabeth Connor, Annalisa Gonzalez, Cece Sabinson, 
Joe Taylor, Megan Feller, Harrison Johnson, and Chloe Brown. Okay, I want to start out tonight by saying thank you to every one of these girls up here on stage. Um, they put in a lot of time and effort this year, and it showed during season. I would also like to give a big thank you to my assistant coaches who helped me throughout the season and who put up with me all year long. Uh, softball had a good year. We finished 18 and 18. We took second and third place in tournaments, and we took uh, we were runner-up to Carl Albert at regionals. Carl Albert went in one state, so we did pretty good at regionals. Uh, this program is continuing to grow year after year, and I'm looking forward to the years to come. We did have two girls that made all district team this year, and I'm gonna give them an award right now. Um, the first one is Megan Beller. She was all district pitcher. And the second one is Elizabeth Connor, all district utility player. I have four more awards that I would like to give out tonight. My first award is my offensive MVP. This player was our leadoff batter for most of the year. She had a batting average of 407 and had 13 out of 13 stolen bases. Our offensive MVP is Elizabeth Connor. Now we have our defensive MVP. This girl played in almost every inning this year and had a fielding percentage of 967. She only had five errors on the whole season. Our defensive MVP is Alex Curtis. We also have an overall MVP for this season. This girl had a batting average of 374. She pitched in 129 innings and threw three no-hitters. She is also a huge leader on the field. The MVP of this season is Megan Beller. <laughs> our last and final award is our Tiger Award. This award goes to a senior who did everything she was asked of this year. In one of our last games to ever play, with the game on the line, she turned to the coaches and told us to put in another player because she knew she was quicker and had a better chance of scoring at regionals. Knowing this would take her out of the game completely, she turned to us and said, I'm not worried, my team's got this. This year's Tiger Award goes to Annalisa Gonzalez. This is all of our awards for tonight. I do want to say one last thank you for everyone who has helped with the field the past couple of months. The field is looking amazing, and we hope you'll come see it in August. All right, next up is volleyball with head coach Ty Ware. I want to say that we're going to start with the senior. Senior Peyton Bowers, Tiana Aguilar, Shay Smith, and Judy Trevino. Next, the juniors, Cameron Payne, Jacqueline Vasquez, Bethany Jones, Isabel Malco, Colt Blood, Rachel Smith, Silas Morales, Cassandra Cope, Sephra Bowers, Aaron Kelly, Sophomores, Macy Crane, Christina Hernandez, Sadie Beasley, Beyonce Yariu, Nicole Pion, Cecilia Longoria, Vanessa Lucero, Madison Hotel, Nadir Longoria, Brooklyn Santos, and Danielle Gomez. And finally, the freshmen, Alvin Malco, Randy Martinez, Amy Roya, Isabel Ramos, and Kyle Jimenez, Allison Vargas, Gabrielle Gonzalez. Okay, uh, last year we had a very successful season. 
We lost a bunch of seniors off of last year's team. And as a matter of fact, we were only returning two girls off of, off of that team. And one of them uh, was switching positions. Uh, and so we had a completely different team. I knew it was going to take time for these girls to gel, to come together. Uh, if you'd seen our first match of the year, you would have thought it might have been late October before, it, before we, we came together. Uh, but they turned it around quickly. They showed up all summer, uh, put in that sweat equity, and uh, uh, they ended up with a 20-7 and seven record, the third season in a row that we've had uh, 20 plus wins. We uh, won the El Reno tournament like softball. We lost in uh, the regional tournament to the eventual state champion. Uh, and so these girls had a great season. Um, to kind of top it off, Shea Smith signed a letter to play uh, volleyball at USAO in Chickasha this year. Okay, now for my awards. Uh, my Tiger Award goes to a young lady. She, uh, she hurt her shoulder this summer. Uh, early in the summer, she, she had to battle that pain. Uh, she ended up having uh, surgery at the end of the year. And uh, it took a long time to rehab, but she had a great golf season. I'm expecting great things from her this next year. My Tiger Award goes to Camry Kane. Okay, my offensive MVP, I had two of them. One was my leader in, in assists, she's a senior. And that is Kiana Aguilar. My other co-MVP uh, was our leader in uh, kills. She was one of the returning starters that had to switch positions. Uh, she did a great job with it. One of our primary passers in serve-receive, leader in kills, and that is Macy LaGrange. I've already uh, mentioned the defensive MVP, uh, Shay. She uh, did a great job at the net. Uh, she got a lot of blocks. She intimidated a lot of people. And uh, I can't wait to see her do great things in the years to come. Now my MVP, uh, you know, she was there every day this summer. She set the example for those girls, uh, for the other varsity girls, for the little girls that came uh, by the way she acted, the way she performed out on the floor. And uh, I can't say enough good things about her. That's Peyton Bowers. Please give these girls one more round of applause. Thank you. All right, please welcome to the stage the swing team, followed by head coach Danielle Collins. for our swimmers throughout the season and for providing the opportunity for us to be here tonight and celebrate all of our athletes. I also want to thank Scott Dahl, Andy Brown, Kim Elamudi, and all of the swim team parents for their support of all of our swimmers. This year, every swimmer that swam at the regional swim meet qualified for the state swim meet. 
and I want to recognize the swimmers and the events that they swam at state. Sean Brown, 500 yard freestyle. Y'all just. <laughs> Um, Adam L. Moody, 100 yard breaststroke. <laughs> Briar Homan, 200 yard IM. <laughs> Mercedes Davis, 100 yard backstroke. Um, Kendall Brown, Bianca Hernandez, Bethany Jones, Ella Oblander, Mary Oblander, 4 by 100 yard relay. <laughs> Tonight I have three awards to present and I'll start with the Tiger Award. Throughout the year, each of the swimmers improved their times at every meet that we went to. The work ethic, commitment, and determination of this young lady went beyond simply improving her times. At the regional swim meet, she was sitting in the stands ready to cheer on her teammates during the 4 by 100 yard relay. But she quickly realized that one of her teammates was experiencing an unexpected illness and was not able to swim her leg of the relay. It didn't take long before she came running from the stands with her swim cap and goggles so that she could swim the anchor leg for the relay. Because of her, the 4 by 100 yard relay qualified for the state swim meet. And this year, the Tiger Award goes to Ella O'Lander. The next award I want to give is the Outstanding Senior Award. This award goes to a young lady who has been a part of GHS Swim since her freshman year. This year, she did not have seventh period athletics, so she decided to practice on her own. She went every morning to the Y before school or after work so that she could be a part of the team. I've never had to wonder if she was practicing or not because she knew that her teammates depended on her and she had to lead by example. This young lady has been a constant and steadfast leader for her teammates and will be missed next year by each and every one of them. This year, the Outstanding Senior Award goes to Mary Oblander. The last award I have is the Most Valuable Swimmer Award. At the beginning of the season, he had a goal to not only qualify for the state meet, but to take multiple seconds off of his time in the 100-yard breaststroke and medal at the state meet. Throughout the season, he continually dropped time off of his breaststroke and continually increased his chances of qualifying and medaling at the state meet. At the regional swim meet, he swam one of the fastest times he had swam all year and qualified for state, but he still wasn't satisfied because he wanted to medal. At the state meet, his preliminary time qualified him for finals and for a chance of medaling. With one of the fastest times of the year, Adam Elamudi placed and medaled seventh in class 5A at the state swim meet. The most valuable swimmer award goes to Adam Elamudi. Thank you. Okay, next up to the stage is girls basketball with head coach Jason Peterson. Our winner of the stage, we're going to start with varsity. Alexis Fisher, Jayla Eastman, Jackie Mendoza, Noelle Moreno, Adriana Romero, Megan Deller, Cassandra Toe, Harrington Johnson, Maggie Landon, Aston Reisett, Sadie Beasley, Nicara Dvorsic, Joanna Cotero, Danica Portillo, JB is Jackie Mendoza, Cassandra Cho, uh, Aston Reisett, Tommy Adams, Sadie Beasley, Maggie Ballou, Aubrey Carrasco, Elizabeth Bonner, Alakai Castilla, Nicara Dvorsic, Javier Longoria, Nessa Lucero, Nicole Dion, Erica Trigana, Anne-Marie Zaletta, Jasmine Brown, Lorena Chavez, Amy Oya, Ezra Madrid, Danica Portillo, and Katie Rose. For the freshmen, for Jasmine Brown, Lorena Chavez, Alexis Cruz, Joshua Gasso Quinones, Amy Oya, Ezra Robin Madrid, Lorena Mendoza, Lenny Oaks, Danica Portillo, Kaylee Rose, Laura Santiago, and Cecilia Sassington. 
First of all, I'd like to thank uh, administration for giving me this chance, Booster Club for everything that they've done for us to help us out, uh, parents, uh, we did a lot of fundraisers this year. You helped out a lot. You helped us on travel, meals, all that good stuff. And last of all, I'd like to thank all the girls up here for the time they put in last summer so we could have the year that we had this year. Start off with the uh, Basketball Tiger Award. The Fighting Tiger goes to a sophomore who just decided to come play this year. But it didn't matter when it was, game time practice, she was always there to help with things, help out, never complained. Every time we had a teaching moment, she was there listening, making herself better. And that is Ad Marie. <laughs> Next award is the most improved. This player hasn't played, I think, since sixth grade is what we figured out, full seasons because of injuries. She came out this year, uh, last summer. She ended up hurting her knee. Luckily, it wasn't as major as we thought it was when it happened. And just through it all, she just kept working and working. And by the end of the year, she was getting lots of playing time on varsity. That is Aspen. Offensive MVP. This girl uh, ended up getting the all area first team in basketball. She also had 375 points and 183 rebounds, which is pretty impressive considering she got double and triple team by almost every team we played. That is Megan. And the last award is Defensive MVP. Uh, this senior ended up signing with NEO earlier this year. She made it to the Woodward uh, 101 Bowl. She had 35 steals, 90 rebounds, and 49 pass deflections. Alexis. <laughs> Again, thank everyone for their support. All right, next up is boys basketball with head coach Kevin Shellhorse. Thank my assistant coaches that helped a lot this year, helped me feel positive. 
Uh, I'm gonna start off with Peyton Bayless. Come here, please. This young man right here, in case you have not uh, heard, he has signed to play college basketball at Southwestern College in Winfield, Kansas. So if you're ever up that way, get a chance to watch him play. Uh, also, he will be playing the K-101 Bowl on Thursday the 30th. You don't know what time yet, do you? No. So if you can make that to Woodward, he'd appreciate your support. Thank you. My first award, uh, and we kind of had a joke this year, uh, trying to get them to play a little tougher defense and take charges. So I kind of joked around and said, hey, if you take a charge, I'll buy you a breakfast burrito. So um, this young man probably has more breakfast burritos this year for me than anybody. So he had to be the uh, defensive player of the year. That's Diego. Uh, this young man right here, he came out and uh, he had to fill a, a pretty big role. Uh, he did a great job at filling this role and about two thirds of the way through the season, he kind of figured out what was going on and he could do some things he didn't know he could do. And at that point, he kind of took off. I uh, was really impressed with him, has a great attitude. He's gonna have a great future, uh, no matter what he does because of his attitude. And that's uh, most improved is Bryce Bagley. <laughs> Our most outstanding player, I heard through the grapevine today that he made a honorable mention all area. Uh, he was our leading scorer. He was like our second leading rebounder, our only returning player from last year. Uh, he's got other accolades that I'm gonna let the other coach talk about, but I wish him luck in the future. And it was a pleasure having him. Our most outstanding player was Grayson Wallace. And thank you for your support the last couple of years. And I wish Coach Marshall and these boys all the luck in the world the next couple of years. Okay, please look at the same power lifting as head coach Melvin Jackson. And his power lifters are Ricardo Carlisle, Marlon Coleman. Eric Cruz, Ron Davis, Harvey De La Rosa, Elaine Fernandez, Daniel Fernandez, Tyler Fields, Roberto Figueroa, Elias Gonzalez, Jonathan Ibarra, Kevin Dixo, Gaspar Sebastian, Ron, Pablo Lopez, Luis Rizzano, Armand Mesta, Waylon Parker, Tyler Padilla, Leonardo Ponce, Danilo Ramos, Irvin Rodriguez, Diego Sanicio, Trevin Tauber, Mark Tapia, Nicole oh, yeah, Tyree, Francisco Vasquez, and Giovanni Vicente Ramos. Thanks, sir. First off, I would like to thank administration for actually allowing us to have a powerlifting team. The, the biggest thing that these guys had to deal with was fundraising. Uh, it cost about $650 to go to each meet, and we were able to go to three meets. So these guys did a, a really great job on raising money and being able to participate. And thank you all for donating your money and believing in these guys. Uh, first off, I have to say that this season did not go how we expected. Even though we did win regionals for the fourth year in a row, All we wanted to do was repeat our state championship win, but we did not do that this year, unfortunately. However, we did have seven individuals qualify for state, and I would like to recognize those individuals right now. In the 123-pound weight class, it was Tyler Fields. State qualifier in the 145-pound weight class, Eric Cruz. <laughs> 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 
state qualifier in the 181 pound weight class, Harvey De La Rosa. State qualifier in the 168 pound weight class, Irving Rodriguez. State qualifier in the 275 pound weight class, Roberto Figueroa. And state qualifier in the 145 pound weight class, Sabino Ramos. And I have two individual awards I would like to give out for these guys. And the first one goes to my new lifter of the year. This guy was his first time powerlifting and he always had come up to me asking me, what can I do to get stronger? What can I do to get better? And it was just a pleasure being around him and he often translated for me being that I don't speak any Spanish. So, <laughs> he was a big help for me, and that is Kevin Yasso. <laughs> and lastly, I have my lifter of the year, my overall lifter. And this guy, it was his first time lifting as well, but he just got better and better each week. He had come after school every day just to lift. And then after lifting after school, he would go to the gym and lift. And he had sent me videos saying, hey, I just got a new Max. Hey, I just got a new Max. And it was like, man, gosh, you're really getting strong. And that lifter is Sabino Ramos. Ladies and gentlemen, your 2018 power lifters. Thank you. All right, next up is girls soccer with head coach Michelle Davis. than others, but every day we put in our hard work and showed our true colors. Sixth in district with Bishop McGinnis and Noble added to our plate, taking on Carl Albert and Woodward was also difficult at any rate. Tonight I let go of 12 seniors and one junior back to Mexico. I will not sugarcoat it, this was a difficult season. Finding the right combinations in the back of the net became a challenge that some of us would like to forget. Moving forward in a positive motion, giving these girls praise became our main direction. I would first like to uh, give knowledge to my first year letterman. As I say your name, just step forward, girls. Alexandra Barbosa, Aubrey Carrasco, 
Andrea Cortez, Alexis Garcia, Sonia Garcia, Christina Hernandez, Natalia Jimenez, Celise Morales, and Sharon Torres. Those are our first year lettermen for soccer. We have two other first year lettermen who have earned other honors. Please give a hand to our leading scorer, tough in attitude and always gives me more, senior and first year letterman with our top scorer, Samantha Iglesias. Other first year lettermen and this year's MVP offense. She has a passion for the game and could not be sweeter. She is headed back to Mexico, but I am so grateful I got to meet her. Please give it up for Andrea Sanchez. I'm gonna miss you too. Before we move on to the seniors, because I have so many, I would like to honor two athletes who have also earned honors this season. This year's MVP defense with all district defender running the backfield with 227 blocks and even a PK. Please give a hand to Estefani Valenzuela. <laughs> this next young woman has come on strong. I knew she could play soccer. We just needed to put all the parts of being an athlete together. This year's most improved athlete and earning her spot on varsity. Please help me congratulate Kayla Machado. <laughs> on to my seniors. Some have given one year, some have been given around all four. Whatever their time that has been, the love for the game keeps going on with these girls coming back for more. As I call you up my name, step forward. Coach, can you help me? Here. This is uh, this is a little wooden block if they get to go there. Up first, Alondra Serta, defense, four-year letterman. <laughs> Shayla Eastland, wing and forward. <laughs> Odalis Hernandez, four-year letterman, defensive mid. Carla Ibarra, second year letterman, defensive wing. Samantha Glacius, first year letterman, forward. Lupita Jimenez, midfield. Yoslin Mesta, defense. Sydney Taylor, three year letterman, defensive wing. Aurora Vasquez, defense. Astrid Zamundo, forward. Some of them have other ones that we should have. Okay, yes. Here's Aurora's. Aurora. Here's Astrid's. Astrid. Sorry, we got some of them mixed up there. We voted on two captains this year who took the job seriously, and I ran almost all my discussions through them. Um, I would like two year letterman, honorable mention, all state midfield, and the only girl to ever score a goal against Heritage Hall. Congratulations to Yessi Mesta. This year's Heart the Tiger, a captain, a three-year letterman, headed to OSU to major in physics, honorable mention at all state defense. Tonight I present to you Daisy Salcedo.
every coach needs a clipboard, so I'm giving my coaches clipboard, clipboards. I have a great coaching staff, a female staff that is strong and powerful and has invested a ton of time in these young women, so I would like to thank Coach Villa, Villa. Coach Miner, and Coach Jojo. And I have a great manager. She keeps me organized. I want to hire at my household as well. And that's manager Emily Sanchez. She's not organized to come tonight, though. I'd like to thank Teresa Fike and Scott Dahl for the miles and miles of roads that you travel for us. To Toby and her training staff for thank you for being part of our Guyman athletic staff. To Eric Johnson and his staff for always giving me 100% to the athletes. Coach Brown for his unconditional support of my program. To the boys soccer team for your great manners and always treating my girls with respect. To Coach Shellhorse, Coach Avalos, and my partner in crime, Coach McMurphy. And last but not least, to my family and my husband who helped me paint the fields, mow and take care of the lawns, and take care of our own kids. Somehow we always make it work. Thank you, Guyman, I appreciate you. Okay, following girls soccer on the stage is boys soccer with head coach Martin McMurphy. First, I'd like to recognize the Booster Club and just thank you all for your support. Um, the money helps us out a lot in travel and motel rooms and things like that. Um, Scott, thanks for getting us there every time. We really appreciate it. Um, Andy Brown, thank you so much for supporting my program, being, you know, giving me an opportunity to help coach with you this year also. Uh, my two managers, uh, Papa Bear and uh, Jonathan Amador, those two guys. I, they're going to graduate next year, and I have no idea what I'm going to do without them. My two assistant coaches this year, uh, Coach Shellhorse came out, never, co never coached soccer. I don't even think he knew what a soccer ball was for. Came out and helped us and actually picked up the game pretty quick, learned a lot, had a good time. Um, I had the great honor this year of actually getting to coach with a player that played for me. Uh, John Avalos came out and uh, helped coach with me this year. It was unbelievable year for us. Um, our season, kind of as expected, uh, we made it back to the state quarterfinals. That was kind of my goal this year. Got cut a little short, ended up getting beat 1-0 at Northwest Classen. Um, end of the season 13-4. and four. Um, We scored uh, 64 goals and only allowed 12 goals all season. Um, the, we only got beat by four goals also. So every game was a 1-0 loss or less than one goal. Um, Ended up with two All-State players. We'll go ahead and have those two step forward. Uh, Javier Medina and Eric Guerrero. We also had um, two All-State honorable mentions, uh, Francisco Garcia and Jonathan Guzman. 
We had uh, four all district players, uh, Francisco Garcia, Uzziah Yurkiza, Snow Wind, and Jonathan Guzman. The first award I'm gonna give every game, I, we only do it for wins, but um, I wanna say one thing about the games that we lost, if we gave a man of the match for the games we lost, um, that award would go to Brian Santana, our goalie. We give a man of the match every single game, and then at the end of the season, whoever has the most man of the matches, they sign the ball after each game, they get that ball. Javier Medina ended up with four uh, man of the match honors. Uh, Javier ended up the season with 29 goals this year. Um, Eric Guerrero ended up with 10 goals. Uh, Guy D had nine. Like I say, out of 64 goals, and there were some, a lot of other players that had big impacts in there. I'll start with uh, my awards for tonight. Uh, Fighting Tiger Award is a guy that shows up every day, gives us everything he has, and doesn't complain, just does his job. And that award this year goes to Jairo Gutierrez. The next award goes to the Defensive Player of the Year. Um, this is pretty special because this person stuck it out for four years, never started for four years, finally made traveling varsity last year, ended up as an honorable mention All-State. That player is Jonathan Guzman. Offensive player of the year. I'm going I'm gonna, I'm gonna to miss this player, and this is the player that most people kind of think of as Guyman soccer right now. I've had a lot of coaches tell me they're so glad he's graduating. It's been an honor to coach him, Javier Medina. <laughs> most valuable player of the year, another player that kind of stuck it out, did not make my traveling varsity team till his junior year, then started two years. Most valuable player of the year, All-Stater, Eric Guerrero. Um, I'm gonna be looking for uh, two new assistant coaches next year, so I have the team autograph balls for my two assistant coaches as they're leaving. So, John Avalos. And Kevin Shellhorse. Thank you all. Next up to the stage is baseball with head coach Jason Miner. Sometimes I get 
a little loud sometimes, but you know they pushed through that, and I really appreciate everything. They worked hard, and really got better. Uh, we won seven games this year, uh, not the year we wanted, but got a lot of returns for next year, so we're really looking forward to next year. Um, I've got three awards I'm going to hand out. Um, the first is the lowest earned run average, and that goes to Darren Lakeley. All right, the um, highest batting average, that came down to the last game and probably one of the last at bats. Uh, he finished the season with a 350 batting average. Um, Hunter Martinez. And our Tiger Award, this goes to a guy that um, he, he worked hard every, every day, um, came to practice, prepared, always stayed late, taking care of the field. Um, he wore every win and every loss on his sleeve. Um, he is the person that you want on your team. You want, want everybody to be like him. And my Tiger Award, Darren Lakewood. Um, last, I just want to thank, thank the administration, um, thank all the guys, thank my assistant coaches, Coach Darnell, Coach Wadley, uh, thank my wife for putting up with me during the season. That could be hard to put, be put up with. Um, also, thank, thanks to everybody for supporting us this year. Next up is Girls Track with head coach Ty Ware. On the coach of the stage, seniors Annalisa Gonzalez and Abby Ramos, junior Ali Kobo, sophomores Joanna Chitero, Perla Estrada, Nathaniel Pio, and Nessa Lucero, and freshmen Isabel Ramos, Naomi De La Rosa, Amy Loya, Nareda Chavez, Cece Sappington, Jasmine Brown, Tempe Oaks, Alexis Cruz, Brooklyn Martin, and Laura Santiago. Okay, before I get started, uh, I'd like to make a special thank you to Monty Waldemont uh, for all the time that he put in uh, this year and in previous years helping us uh, with our hurdlers. Uh, they've had a lot of success under his help and uh, I really appreciate uh, the time that he spends out there helping us. We have a very young group this year, uh, a lot of them. Uh, it was their first year coming out for track, uh, but the good thing is is that uh, we have some good things to look forward to in the future. Now for my awards, uh, Outstanding Sprinter, she was a hurdler, she uh, uh, made it to the state track meet as a sophomore. Uh, the state track meet didn't quite go as well as we hoped. But the good thing is, is that she's got two more years, and that's Joanna Quintero. My Tiger Award, uh, young lady that has never come out for track before. Uh, I thought there was a chance that she could be successful uh, doing it. She came out, she worked hard, she was there every single day doing the best that she could and I'm hoping she continues to stay out and my Tiger Award goes to Brooklyn Martin. Okay, my outstanding distance runner. Uh, she's a senior, she's a uh, She's been to the state track meet, uh, I believe, every year that she was in high school. She had a lot of uh, success in cross country as well. And, uh, and you know, she's worked her tail off these last four years. And uh, I hope I have a whole bunch more like her. That's Gabby Ramos. <laughs> Thanks, 
My outstanding field events uh, goes to a, a senior. Uh, she helped out, helped me out tremendously this year, uh, helping me coach the young ones, helping show them uh, the correct way to throw. Uh, she did. She didn't quite have the success at the state, at the regional track meet that we hoped for, uh, but she improved her personal record by 12 feet at that regional meet. And, uh, and kind of the new news, uh, she is going to sign next week to throw at NWOSU in Alva, and that's Annalisa Gonzalez. <laughs> Please give these girls one more round of applause. Thank you. Okay, next up to the stage is Boys Track with head coach Andy Brown. administration for allowing me to be track coach again this year. I really appreciate it and had a great time coaching these wonderful young men. Special thanks to Coach Ware and also Mr. Walgamont for working with our kids. We had a very young group this year. I uh, appreciate their hard work and effort during practices. Uh, we had some state meet qualifiers. Mark Tapia made it pole vault. <laughs> Our two-mile relay improved their time this year. When we first started out, we ran 8.52, which is not a very good time, and they got down to 8.29 with the same group of kids. Hard work and practice every day. Joseph Soto, Corby Jenkins, Zach Batuel, and Jaraje Himbago, two-mile relay. <laughs> and also Jaraje made it in the mile and two-mile. He was our regional champion in the mile and two-mile, and also, um, made it to state in the in both of those events and he placed third in the mile and I'm not even going to talk about this, what happened in the two miles. Um, now for our uh, awards, our most valuable field events, Mark Tapia. He did all that pole vaulting by himself, it wasn't any help from me. Most valuable sprinter. A hard-working kid, going to miss him next year. He's going to go run at Panhandle State. Aren't you? Yes. Yeah. Corby Jenkins. We have a lot going on. <laughs> Corby ran the 400 for us this year, and also he'd never ran the 800 before this year, and I said, if you want to go to state, you're going to be on the two-mile relay, and he agreed with that. So, um, Our most valuable distance runner, uh, he set school records this year in the two mile with a 9.49. I can't even ride a bike that fast for two miles. And in the mile, he set the school record with a 4.25. Uh, he also went to the meet of champions and won the two mile. Uh, that's how he set that 9.49 school record. So one of the fastest kids in the state of Oklahoma is a freshman, Duraje Himbago. <laughs> Raja is the first one at practice and the last one to leave. His work ethic is out of this world. Uh, my Fighting Heart Award, this goes to one of the hardest working kids that I know. He may not be the fastest kid, but he's going to do everything you ask him to do and do it with a smile on his face, Gaspar Sebastian. That's our track team. Thank you. Next up to the stage is Girls Golf with head coach Kyle Davis.
Wagner, Andrew Brown, and Ali Malco. Thanks a lot. I'm really excited to have these ladies up here. It was a great season for us. We actually got to go back to the state tournament as a team, and we had not accomplished that for, I think it was seven or eight years ago that we actually were able to go back. So it was pretty awesome to be there. Um, <laughs> I'm very happy to be up here with the women's golf team. Uh, if anybody wants to try something, uh, travel in a suburban, with five high school girls for four and a half to five hours, you find out what you did in your past life to deserve it. It's, it's pretty interesting. I'd like to thank, of course, my wife and my children. It's uh, pretty tough. I was gone so much, but in the same instance, to have them there to support me is something that is just, uh, you can't uh, know how important it is. Um, I really need to thank uh, Libby and Mitch. Are you here? Malcos? Are they here? They're in the back? Okay, I see you guys back there. Um, they were at every single tournament, and Mitch always had a cooler full of, well, you know, the best Gatorades and stuff like that. Probably not what he has at his house. But <laughs> it, was, it was pretty awesome to see him at every tournament. He's like, here, coach, go ahead and make sure the girls get some. So it was awesome to have the water and supplies like that. And thank you again, Mitch, Libby. I really appreciate it. Uh, I have some awards to give out. I want to honor our two seniors, uh, both uh, Mary Oblander and Kenzie Landis, who you know, have been, been through the war since their freshman year and have always been there for us and everything. And I always call them our captains. I'd say, if you want to, ask Captain Kinsey or ask Captain Mary. They can tell you what it's like at state. So it was really impressive to have them with me. And I just want to give them a couple of plaques. And that goes to Mary Oblander and Kinsey Landis. Our most improved golfer was our fifth bag this year. And <laughs> it's, it's funny because I laugh about it because every time she'd say, fifth bag doesn't mean anything. My score doesn't mean anything. And I'm like, yes, it does. Yes, it does. And we would have never made it to state without her score at regionals. Uh, she's a girl that really worked hard this year. And I'm really excited because she's a junior and we'll have her next year too. But this goes to Mercedes Davis. My next award is the Heart of the Tiger Award. And this golfer was one of those that would always be out there after the practice had ended and everybody had gone home. And I'd always find her out there also on the weekends and stuff and always trying as hard as she could to better herself. Um, and it's just, again, another pleasure. She's also a junior and I'm looking forward to having her for one more year. It goes to Isabel Melko. She's M2 because there's M3 who's Allie Malco and I've, this is number three Malcos that I've coached so it's incredible to have all three of them with us. Um, my next award is the MVP 
And that goes to a real special person that only you could really kind of see either as a coach or a person involved with the sport. She couldn't wait to show you a new club. She couldn't wait to ask you, what about this golf ball? Uh, she was always out on the weekends, always talking this and talking that. It was just a real pleasure to have her. And I'm really excited again, another junior. So again, next year should be pretty good for us, at least I hope. But my MVP goes to Camry Kane. I have four freshmen that are getting ready to move up the rank, which is good news. And Kendall, KJ, Allie, and Ella. And again, it's like a family legacy that's being handed down to everyone. So I'm really excited for next year's golf and what these ladies will bring us. Thank you very much. All right, next up to the stage is boys golf with head coach Roger McKinnon. Grayson Wallace, Carson Horner, Nathan Ronnie, Danny Wallace, Matt Stockton, Adam Alaroo, Don Brown, Callan McDowell, Chase Justin, Brett Fields, McCauley Evans, Matthew Santos, Connor Williams, and Matthew Payne. Well, there they are, your 2018 golf team from Guymon High School. Um, going to bore you with some facts right off. Is this on? Do I have to hold it like that? Thank you, Greg. I was looking for instructions. <laughs> going to bore you with a little information. Uh, we went to 11 tournaments this year. Um, at the beginning of the year, if we had made it to the state tournament, I was going to be extremely pleased. Um, had only really one back from last year. Uh, the other four kind of stepped it up, and as the season went along, we got a little bit better. We actually won one tournament, tied for a uh, victory in another tournament, lost in the playoffs. I think we had three seconds and two thirds. Um, like I said, we qualified for the state tournament. At regionals, I was expecting us maybe to do fourth as uh, our best effort. At the end of the morning round, that morning it was windy, so everybody thought we had an advantage, which we actually did. We ended up with a low score that morning, ended up second at regionals, which really very proud of these guys. They really did a good job. Um, at the state tournament on Monday morning, Grayson played well, the others did not play so well, but in the end we did finish sixth, so I was very proud of you guys, you did a good job, in spite of your coaching. Um, I, I only have a couple of awards, but I threatened them with two or three other awards. One of them was the Alarm Clock Award. I told Carson I wouldn't mention his name. I had, the other one's the Chicken Tenders Award. Uh, and the last one golfers are really familiar with is the Gold Bond Powder Award. <laughs> they, they all know who they are. But I, actually I do have just two awards that I want to give, uh, one for the most improved and the other would be my most valuable. Uh, the most improved, he kind of struggled through the year, but when we got to the regionals and got to the state tournament, he kind of turned it on a little bit, stepped up. Um, those five rounds, uh, he actually had the second low average score, had his best round of the season with 79. 
Uh, he's got a lot to live up to, but he's got a good start on it. My most improved is Gannon Wallace. Aren't his dimples cute? Um, this next one, the most valuable player. There's a lot I can say about this young man. Um, I really look up to him. I mean, actually, since he's six foot six. Um, it's been my pleasure to coach him for the last four years, uh, watching him mature as a player. I think his second round in Amarillo as a freshman, he shot 98. And from that, he improved to his best round of 65. Uh, he's, he's accomplished a great deal this year. Those 11 tournaments, we had 18 rounds of competition. His scoring average for the year is 72. The last 10 rounds, which included regional and the state tournament, he lowered that average to 70.9. His high score during that time was 73. He had a low score of 68. Um, of those 11 tournaments, he won six of those, four of the last five. He had three second place finishes. Um, at the beginning of the season, his goals were to win the regional and then go on to win the state tournament. Um, needless to say, he accomplished both of those goals. He won the regional by nine strokes. And at the state tournament, going into the last day, he was three strokes behind the leader. I heard a couple of the, one of the kids in front of him say he hated to have Grayson Wallace chasing him. Well, Grayson chased him down, shot 73 the last day, and he won the state tournament by three strokes. Uh, <laughs> I could really say a lot more about him, but my MVP, the 5A state golf champion, he's an All-Stater, and he's a Division I signee with Wichita State University, Grayson Wallace. Um, I do have one other award or a plaque to present to him. It's from the Oklahoma Secondary School Activities Association, State Medalist, Boys Golf, Class 5A. I will miss him. Um, I would also like to finish by saying thank you to the parents. There were many times again this year when we went to tournaments, there were more people supporting the Guyman Tigers than there were some of the schools that were within 30 miles of wherever we were competing. So parents, thank you very much. Uh, congratulations to all of you athletes. Um, tomorrow's gonna be a bright day. Thank you. Okay, up next are the athletic trainers. Uh, Presented by head trainer Toby Robert. This year is the first year for Guyman to have an athletic trainer and athletic training students. Um, this group of girls put in many hours before, during, and after practices and games this year. Um, they got water ready, they taped athletes, they wrapped, they iced, um, and they were just an essential part to all the teams here. Um, all that they learned and experienced this year is gonna help them further their uh, careers in nursing, being doctors, uh, physical therapists, and athletic trainers. Um, neither I nor 
the teams could have done it without them. So thank you, girls. Um, I would also like to recognize Odalis Hernandez, if she's still here, and Lindsay Perez. Um, they were my very first students in the fall, and they helped me with football, and I could not have survived without them. Um, and I would also like to recognize Michelle Davis uh, for getting this position started and helping me with so much throughout the year. I couldn't have done it without you. So thank you, girls, and thank you, coaches. All right, and last but not least, cross country with head coach Andy Brown. Cross country runners of the high school boys, Gerardo Ibarro, Zaire Ortiza, Brett Field, Joseph Soto, Enrique Alvarez, Noel Nunez, Corby Jenkins, Jairo Gutierrez, Trey Glasser, Peter Castro, Jonathan Guerrero, Robert Madrid, Adelardo Bernardi, Black Hawk Lopez, Daniel Gates, David Gates, Enoch, Nick Choke, Alexis Lopez, David Johnson, Irvin Rodriguez, Gaspar Sebastian, Luis Lozano, Brandon Castro, Jose Lopez, Isaac Rosa, Akra Tuelke, Jonathan Fierro, Isaac Olivas, Andy Gutierrez, Muriel Montes, Patrick Vasquez, Alexis Rodriguez, Javier Sanicio, Guadalupe Yescas, Lonzo Ramirez, Evil Juarez, Noah Pena, Caleb Moreno, Javier Garcia, Francisco Barcelona, Jerry Perez, Luis Juarez, Enrique Hernandez, Ivan Garcia, Juan Cole, T. Cruz, Jose De La Cruz, Ryder Holman, Riley Evans, Seth Bruce, Angelo Mejia, Julio Caleb, Juan Salinas, Jason Perez, Victor Salazar, and Jacob Johnson. And for the high school girls, Alexis Cruz, Fatima Molina, Jasmine Brown, Jennifer Frayer, Gabby Ramos, Alexis Soto, Laura Santiago, Sanet Nari, Rosa Morales, Mariah Prasad, Suzette Rivas, Rodonis, Gabriel Castillo, Rosa Estrada, Jessica Rodriguez, Alexis Garcia, Alejandro Barbosa, Rosia De La Garza, Alex Woods, Luis Jimenez, Samantha Iglesias, and Estrella Pagun. I'd like to thank the Booster Club for putting this on, the community for all their support this year, all the fundraisers that we do, teachers and administration, transportation, uh, Scott Dahl getting us the buses ready and everything. Uh, when I first started, we took one bus to meets, now we're taking two, and half the kids are riding with parents, so we've had great support, and I appreciate that. Um, thanks to the athletes for allowing us to coach them, the parents for their support, and also for Coach McMurphy and everything he's done for our program this year. And, also, a special thanks to my wife for keeping the kids in line at the tent site and also myself. Um, our team motto this year was mental toughness is finding fuel in an empty tank. Uh, I think our kids were some of the most mentally tough kids around. They definitely punish themselves daily in those workouts and that's what it's, re that's what it's required to do to be well and to run well. Uh, for the girls, we struggled from the beginning. Uh, not very consistent during summer practices and I think some of us learned our lesson that when we don't put the time in you're not going to get the results so it wasn't the result that we wanted on the team side but we're going to come back and do a lot better next year I can guarantee you that um, our team was led by uh, Gabby Ramos who was a two-time regional west champion and placing uh, seventh at the state meet this year she's a two-time all-state runner and she's our MVP Gabby just had that thing about her when it was time to run fast, she ran fast. And at the beginning of the season, you would have thought, who, who is this? You know, she was a completely different runner towards the end of the season. Um, our freshman award, this goes to a very promising freshman that has a lot of talent. And if she continues to work hard, uh, she's gonna go places Alexis Cruz. She's probably out running right now, she's not here. Um, our most improved runner, um, Great attendance and summer conditioning, a hard worker at practice, and I don't, I don't think I've ever seen her have a bad day. Always has a great attitude, 
improved her time by two minutes at the state meet, uh, Alex Woods. Our girls state team members were Gabby Ramos, Rosia De La Garza girl step, up, step forward if you were on the state team, Jennifer Freyer, Jasmine Brown, Laura Santiago, Alexis Cruz, Alex Woods, state meet alternates, Lupita Jimenez, Mariah Croissant. Okay, on the boys side. I knew this year was gonna be a great year based on summer attendance, we had our top 15 to 20 kids hitting 85%. So they put in the time all summer long and that was gonna pay off and it did. Um, this is probably one of the most focused group of kids that I've seen. Uh, we were doing some workouts early in the year and me and Coach McMurphy were just kind of looking at each other and raising our eyebrows like these guys are for real. They worked really hard, were very focused. Probably the best thing that happened to us this season, uh, we haven't lost to a 5A team in two and a half years. We go to OSU Jamboree in Piedmont, uh, beats us by 26 or 30 points and just lights us up. So the rest of the season, I think that put the boys on a little bit more um, focus and determination and practice and come regionals. The boys won regionals for the third time by 10 points over Piedmont. Going into the state, we knew it was gonna be very close and the boys came out on top and won by a very close margin of five points. Now, if you ever watch a cross country race, you have to wait 15 to 20 minutes for the results. And when it's that close, you don't know if you won or lost. So we, me and the Piedmont coach and Coach McMurphy were just standing there and when they announced that we had won, it was, it was great, a, a big relief to know that uh, the boys had done uh, what they intended to do at the very beginning of the season. I'll get off to the awards. Freshman award, this goes to a very promising freshman, came in having never ran before, did a great job learning every day and getting a little bit better, changing some eating habits and different things like that. And that is Brett Fields. <laughs> Most improved runner, um, this kid was not even on our varsity team last year. He was a JV runner. No coach in Oklahoma knew who he was. He put in a lot of time this summer. And by the end of it, they're going, who is this kid? He placed 11th at the state meet, Akbar Tawel. <laughs> Got two senior awards to give out. These two have been with me from Six years, Corby Jenkins and Joseph Soto. I appreciate their dedication. Thank you, Coach. Thank you. Last, our MVP. He was the regional champion. Open up there. He was the state champion, ran uh, the only runner in 5A to go under 16 minutes. He led from the very beginning of the race and extended his lead throughout. I think he won by around 12 to 15 seconds. Like I said before, the first kid there at practice, he, uh, Dragia would show up, ju uh, jump off his bike, and jog a mile while all the other kids are just kind of hanging around before we start practice. <laughs> then we go through active warm up. And then we jog another eight minutes, so he gets another mile and a half in. So he's already done two miles before the workout even starts. Then we do the workout, which is anywhere from three to five miles. And then after that, he jogs another mile, cool down. And then he probably goes home and runs eight miles. <laughs> the kid is a great talent, great kid to coach, very coachable, Daraja Himbaco. Our state team members, if they would step forward on the boys' side, Daraja Himbago, Akbar Tawel, Uzziah Yerkiza. Those boys were All-State and All-State Honorable Mention, placing inside the top 15. Noel Nunez, Enrique Alvidrez, Hinoch Gabriel Christos, 
and Joseph Soto. Those were your state team members. Now, state, state meet alternates, these are kids that if one of these top seven gets injured the week before the state meet, they can jump in and run for them. And some of our alternates were good enough to be on other teams varsity. So we had a lot of reserves that were very talented as well that didn't even get to run at the state meet. Isaac Peralta, Isaac Olivas, Corby Jenkins, Alexis Lopez, and Brett Fields, they were all state meet alternates. I had some state meet alternate plaques because making it to the state meet is a big deal. I don't care where you're from, it's, it's important. And uh, we wanted to give the alternates an award also. Corby Jenkins, Mariah Croissant, Alexis Lopez, Lupita Jimenez. If I call your name, come up. <laughs> Brett Fields, Isaac Peralta, <laughs> Isaac Levis. Thank you for all your support. <laughs> the first award I want to give out tonight is for the Coy Gibson Award. This is the senior with the highest GPA. Bryce Bagley, 4.4. I want to give are the James O. Tuttle. This is the male and female all-around athlete. This is a two-sport girl as a freshman, battled a knee injury, and helped our basketball team out as well as our volleyball team, Danica Portillo. Freshman all-around male athlete uh, goes to a uh, two-sport athlete. He won state in cross country and was third in the mile at the state meet. Draja Himbago. Next is the senior all-around male athlete, a three-sport athlete. And I'm telling you, watching those basketball games, I didn't think they had to clean the floor after because he was all over the floor diving after loose balls, just everywhere on the court. A lot of hard work, Bryce Bagley. for the senior all-around female athlete. This goes to a two-sport athlete that was the, uh, a great runner for our school. Um, she was the West Regional Champion, All-State, two-time All-State, and made it to state in track as well, Gabby Ramos.
All right. And presenting the Jim Hitch Golf Award, the Jim Hitch Basketball Award, and the Jim Hitch Fighting Heart Award, please welcome to the stage, Jason Hitch. Thank you all for toughing it out and waiting. Uh, I would like to say congratulations to all the young men and women who participated in sports and to all the seniors that are graduating. That's pretty outstanding accomplishments that they've listed off tonight. Um, many of y'all have heard, us, heard me give this speech before, but this, these awards are in honor of my uncle who passed away in, I believe it was 70, the spring. Uh, he wasn't necessarily a great athlete, um, but he tried his hardest at everything, and they've kind of, my grandparents put in this award to honor him and all the things he participated in. I think there's one additional in choir as well that we're obviously not doing tonight. The Fighting Heart Award goes to Eric Guerrero. And that award is traditionally not always gone to the best athlete or the best person, but to the person who tried the hardest and worked the hardest. Um, and that's really what it's there to signify. The next award is for the golf, and that goes to Grayson Wallace. And while Grayson's coming up, the basketball award goes to Bryce Bagley. Thank you all. Finally presenting the Booster Club Coach of the Year is Booster Club President Renee Bagley. Hold on one minute, please. This year was a, the Gaiman Sport saw a lot of improvement in our athletics. We had state champions in cross country team, state qualifiers in golf, track, and a state golf champion, and a state champion golfer. I think we had 10 student athletes signing letters of intent to play in college. I don't know if that's the most in one year, but that's a lot that I've ever noticed. Uh, this success would not be possible without our dedicated coaches, and our coaches spend a lot of time outside of practice organizing and planning for these teams. These coaches are our mentors for our student athletes, and for that, I would like for everybody to thank all of our coaches. <laughs> However, the Coach of the Year Award is only given to one outstanding coach. This coach spends many hours without pay, and his team made it to state, with one player being a state champion. At this time, the Guyman Booster Club would like to rock would like to recognize Roger McKinnon as the Guyman Booster Club Coach of the Year. That does conclude our award ceremony. As you leave, please deposit your trash in the trash receptacle. I believe there's some up here. There may be some at the door. Meet the table decorations, that's what we sell at the football games.